Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, over the past few years, I have tried out a lot of different pots and kettles for cooking in. Uh, many of them have gone by the way or uh, been sold at yard sales. These are my four favorites. Um, I've tried quite a few others, but always came back to these four. And so what I wanted to do is just give you a quick review on these four, tell you what I like about each one, what I don't like about it, and then uh, cook up some ramen noodles or something. In fact, I got some ramen noodles mixed with vegetables and sunflower seeds and different things here, and my little uh, Esbet stove. Okay, so Pathfinder cup. I think everybody's familiar with this and just about everybody I know has a Pathfinder cup or a knockoff. This is what uh, I actually started with um, was a setup like this. The cool thing about the Pathfinder cup or again, other brands that are similar, as you all know, you can put your bottle inside this, put it inside of a pouch, attach it to the outside of your pack and it takes up absolutely no room in the pack. Things I don't care for about it, um, and the reason that it is not my favorite, 25 ounces is what it holds. And when I'm wanting to do something like this, where I'm cooking up the noodles and stuff, putting this over a fire, it gets to bubble, and it just starts bubbling out the top everywhere. I mean, even with the little lid on the top, it'll... Uh, It'll lift the lid off, literally. I've had it do that. And other thing, of course, how am I going to hang this? Well, it, it doesn't come with a way to hang it, so i got to rig up a piece of wire or buy one of these spreaders that they sell to hook in the sides. And lastly, the thing I really don't like, and I know they've redesigned this now, and it has bigger bat wing handles, but at least on this model is how close my hand is when I'm trying to pull this out of a fire or something. I can't get my hand far enough away. So, Pathfinder. I still carry one of these, by the way, but I use it primarily for drinking, make some hot cocoa or something. Other thing about it, of course, I'm a huge fan of the Esbet stove, is it doesn't fit on the stove without folding the stove in, which raises it up higher from the flame. And because of the design where the water is deeper and it's farther away from the flame, it just takes longer to cook. Number two, what I pretty much replaced the Pathfinder cup with was my Stanley. And I modified this, um, put it on a drill press, drilled holes in the side so I could make a little bale. Replace the plastic handle with a little carabiner so you can lift the lid off and on. Or if with the top handle folded down, you can actually hang that over the fire by the carabiner. And it's a step up from the Pathfinder in being able to get my hand farther away from the heat of the cup. If there's flames coming up around the cup and you can see the marks on the side here where I've had it in the fire. I can get my hand back away from the fire. Um, things I don't like, again, all of these things are modifications. I, you know, right off the bat, had to modify the lid, had to modify this, so I had a way to hang it. And again, we're back to that depth issue. The water's deep, so it takes longer to boil. Won't sit down on the Esbet stove. Um, and just doesn't hold quite enough liquid. It's about the same as the Pathfinder cup, right around the 25 ounce mark. All right, so what I ended up graduating to and use for a long time is the Uberleben Kessel. So this is a big step up from those two in the sense of the size, first of all. It's a... Uh, I think it's one and a quarter quarts or one and a half quarts. I can't remember which now. I apologize for that. But it sits right on the Esbet stove perfectly. 
and and the water is shallower because it's bigger around than it is tall so it boils much faster and you got the pouring spout in the front little holes to bubble up on the side you got an adjustable handle here that allows you to get your hand away from the flame but then again this is kind of awkward um, I like to carve pot hooks you know carve out a pot hook hang it from a tripod or a dingle stick or something else this is a pretty awkward setup I ended up putting a hose clamp around here so that I could hold a stick in place to hang it over my fire when I wanted to dangle it. But this, this handle setup, if it had a bale, just a traditional bale and a handle would be, then it would be the ultimate. Then it would be my favorite. This handle setup is what keeps it from being my favorite. Does take up room in the pack, comes with a nice stuff sack, and you can fill up the inside of this with all kinds of goodies that would otherwise take up room in the pack. And that kind of helps balance out the extra carry. So, what has become my absolute favorite? And in the description, I'll put the name and stuff. It's on Amazon. You just type in uh, Snow Peak uh, Kettle. 30 ounce kettle from Snow Peak. It's just barely big enough because the, the two 25 ounce cups were too small for me. This one is, I wish it was 32 ounces, two more ounces would make a difference, but it's for a single person out here doing day trips, and I want to boil some water and throw it in a backpacker's mill, um, or what I'm about to do, cook up some ramen noodles, make a small dish. It's just the right size, and it comes already done up. Everything you've seen so far requires modifications. I mean... Pathfinder cup, you got to make a bale or you got to buy the fish spreader and use it. The Stanley, I showed you all the modifications I made. The bale handle, drilling the holes on the side, carabiner on top. Even the Uber Lieben Kessel, to keep it from sliding off the stick, I had to put a hose clamp on it. So everything requires modification of some sort to make it work out here, except the Snow Peak. The Snow Peak is completely set up. It fits perfectly on the top of the little uh, little stove. It's bigger around and not as tall, so the water boils faster. The handles extend out, so you can get your hands a long ways from the flame. It comes with a bale already on this, so you can carve a pot hook and hang it, you know, from a tripod. Again, dingle stick, whatever you want, right over the fire. It has a nice pouring spout. And this little lid flipped over is not a bad place to do prep. So, so a lot of times, in fact, I've got some in my pack. I'll cut up a piece of Spam and throw it in my ramen noodles. I just didn't bring it down here um, over there in the pack. I might throw it in when they're done. But this is perfect. I just lay this down. Put my spam on here, slice it up into little squares, dump it inside, good to go. So out of all of the different pots and kettles I've used, now again, I'm talking for, you know, a one or a two day trip, a single guy or a single gal who's just going to make one serving meals for yourself. I'm going to stop and have lunch. I'm going to do up some ramen noodles. Later this evening, all I'm going to do is boil up water, pour it right into a mountain house bag, and eat right out of the bag. And this is just perfect. I actually, you can take your ramen noodles, break them up, add whatever you want. I like sunflower seeds and dehydrated vegetables. Shove that down in here. A pack of Spam will fit in here. And a little pack of Velveeta cheese, which I like to squeeze in, will all fit in here. And then... Uh, just get yourself some kind of a little stuff sack to carry it in, and you're good to go. So let's fire this up. All right, I got water here. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to eye everything. 
and I think that that is good to go. All right, I got me a lighter. It's uh, above freezing today. The wind has been blowing off and on, which is what is making it so chilly, but it's above freezing. So I'm gonna just try to get this going quick and easy with a lighter. I got two fuel tabs. On summer days, warm weather, I'll use just one, but in cold weather, I like to use two. So let's see if I can just get that going. Get both those tabs ignited. I'll set it where you guys can see. There we go. It is, it is burning. What I, I'm going to put a rock here. The wind's blowing towards you guys. So I'm going to set a rock right behind this. Now what's cool is it's got the little uh, spout on top. So as soon as that water starts to boil, I'll see the steam coming out and then I'll pour in my contents. You got a long handled spoon here, but just, it's easier to eat out of too. It's easier to prepare meals in, you know, the extra, it's actually close to 31 ounces. So the extra six ounces over say this, which is 25 really does make a difference because you can't take your water level up to the 25. It's just going to boil out of the top real literally, you know, 16, 17, 18 ounces at the absolute most is what you can put in here. So you've got six extra ounces of liquid or food or whatever ever you want to put in there. Again, the Uberlieben um, Kessel would probably be the perfect size. It's a little bit bigger than this. I can't remember without looking it up the exact ounces, but you can go on Amazon and look it up. But it is a little bit bigger than this and would would be my choice if it had this type of a setup. I just think they really missed the mark when they made this handle. That's my opinion, that they when they designed this, they weren't thinking about the guy doing bushcraft. I mean, a bale handle is the most popular for just hanging your pot, your kettle, whatever, over the fire. That's That's by far the most popular, and this thing is just awkward. And again, these big old wraparound side handles. So I got the flame coming out right now and up the side here. And this gets my hands just back away from the flame. So that's burning really good. And again, Snow Peak is the brand. I have hung this over the fire. I've boiled in it, um, hanging over a roaring hot fire. And it was steaming and, and bubbling, but... Uh, did a great job and it cleaned up really nice as you can see it's a it's a really good stainless steel finish because i was able to scrub it and get the black off for the most part there's still some spots over here and clean it up really nice so again in the description i'll put it down snow peak but uh, i'm going to pause you guys let this thing start um boiling see how long it takes not on there what about a minute should, should only take another minute or two and it'll be boiling good I'll turn you back on when we throw my noodles in and uh, cook up some lunch. This is the only disadvantage, you know, is you can't nest it other, under your cup. If you're really, really limited on room in your pack, and the only thing you can do is something that'll nest under the cup or under the water bottle, that's not going to work. But if you've got a, just a little room in your pack, again, you can take things like food or an extra pair of socks. Uh, your fire starting kit will work fit perfectly in there lighter matches ferro rod um, Tinder a piece of fatwood you can cram this thing completely full of stuff that would normally take up room in your pack anyway And when you do that, then it's really not a lot a lot of added room and it weighs next to nothing So let me pause you guys as soon as this starts boiling. We'll pop the lid and uh, throw in these noodles 
Okay guys, it's only been from the time I put the kettle on until now, and I'm going by the timer on my phone, it's only been like three minutes. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of there, but watch this. And this is cool too. This lid is really convenient to take off and on. I just use the handle on my spoon. See all that? Look at that. Here we go. Nice. Give that a couple stirs. Got my noodles, got my vegetables. And the lid just pops right back on. What a nice fit. I mean, that's another thing about it. Some of these lids, you know, so this one, you've got the wooden knob, which you get a lot of flames coming up and around there. Can be a problem. Uh, that's just a nice setup. You can carve a little stick with a little fork on it or whatever. Use it like a, you know, a pot lid lifter. Or just use the handle if you've, if you've got a long handled spoon like I like to carry. So we're going to let that cook for a couple minutes. And I'll come back and throw the seasoning in and try it out. So if you're looking um, for a little kettle to try and you have not tried or seen the Snow Peak, this is the one I recommend. I it, you know, if you need to cook for more than one person, you're going to need something bigger. But if you're by yourself, this is perfect. And uh, it's bubbling up. You hear it? You can see all the steam. Things are just cooking away. So I'll pause you guys for a couple minutes again, give this a stir or two, and come back and uh, have some lunch. Okay, it's been about two minutes since I uh, paused you guys. Just been letting it sit here and boil. And there's still plenty of flame, plenty of heat from them two little tabs. I could let it boil for another couple minutes, but I'm thinking it's done. So these handles again, they're cold. They're not even hot. They haven't even heated up. And a lot of these handles that are up close, if I were to grab them right now, like on the Pathfinder Cup, they'd be so hot I'd have to put a glove on to hang on to them. So that's a big advantage of these. So... Go ahead and set this off to the side for a minute down here while I get rid of this. I'll set that down here. There we go. Put the little tabs out and uh, I like to set it upside down so the air can get up underneath it and cool it. we go look at that nice all right let's see if you guys can see that see all them veggies down in there oh can I get it at an angle yeah there we go see all them veggies Nice. Add my seasoning. Stir that up good. Like I said, I could have brought down a piece of spam. That's what I usually do is use the lid like a little plate, cut up some spam and throw that in there. Mm, that is hot. You guys see that there? Very hot. That's good. If you like ramen noodles, and I do actually, I like to add the, the veggies, the sunflower seeds, I got some Velveeta I'm going to go grab and squeeze in here. Maybe I'll grab that piece of Spam. But um, I like ramen dressed up. It's just a cool, easy meal, as you saw, to cook out here. And a little tip for you guys. Get some of these little handy wipes. I'm going to show you this tip real quick before I turn you off. This will be a 
a free quick tip to go with the video. Go with the review. Oh, I just lost my light there for a second. Okay, so these little wet wipes, or wet ones like this. Get some of these little wet napkins, whatever your favorite brand is. Now, you see the bottom of that? How black that is? All right, I'm gonna set that right over here. This is how I do my field cleaning, is with one of these wet wipes. So remember that? I'm just doing part of it so you can see it. Remember how black that was? All that black is on there. See that side? I'm trying to tilt that back. That's no, look at that. All the black is completely gone from this wet wipe. I'm going to just do the whole thing. Sometimes it takes two if it's real goopy. I invented a bushcraft word, goopy. <laughs> but... Just use one of your wet wipes. Look at that. I still got a little black there I'll clean up, but for the most part, the bottom is just as clean as can be. And you can do your same thing when you pull it out of a fire and the sides are all black. Just use a couple of these little wet wipes and you're good to go. So there it is, guys. Um, my favorite little cook pot, the Snow Peak. I'll put the full name, 30 ounce kettle in the description. It's on Amazon. Last time I looked, I think they had gone up a little bit. I think they're around 20, 20 to 25 bucks. But everything's going up. Hmm. Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to enjoy lunch.